for I had no idea what it was, but you saw the list of more puns. The City of Andalia Council will now come to order for their meeting on November the 18th, 2019. Uh, we will have uh, a moment of reflection followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Would you st please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Council, you've had the opportunity to uh, look over the minutes from our special council uh, meeting minutes of October the 14th, our council study session minutes of November the 4th, our council meeting minutes of November the 4th, and our council budget workshop minutes of November the 9th. Are there any revisions to be made? Seeing none, those will all stand approved. We have no communications, petitions, or awards this evening, nor do we have any public hearing. And that brings us to comments from interested citizens. So if there's anyone in our audience who would like to make a comment to us, would you please come to the podium State your name and address and your comment. Uh, 
Hello, my name's Jeff Wisman, 8000 Sycamore Hollow, Chip City, Ohio. Um, I see that an ordinance to amend that I asked people or asked you guys if you guys would uh, look at, see if you guys can address it. I thank you, whoever did work on this, and I appreciate that it's coming in. Um, and the only questions I have on it is hopefully we can, I don't think it has anything to do with hotels, and I think that would be important. And also if we get a nightclub or something like that, that can also be a, um, a, you know, different things that can happen to be a nuisance. So if we can see if that's in there or address those later on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. McDonald, could you? Yes, they both, to those? both of them apply to commercial and residential. Um, the, uh, they speak mostly to the residential one, the nuisance, the mm -hmm. property maintenance nuisance one speaks mostly to residential, but the criminal activity is really more so geared actually for commercial properties, which would include the hotels, nightclubs, and that kind of thing. So they would be covered. Mm -hmm. Great. Does that answer your question? Concern? Great. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll go on to the uh, city manager's report. Uh, we have no information items this evening. However, we do have an action item, and that's boards and commissions appointments. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so council did have an opportunity during your study session prior to this evening's meeting uh, to meet with Kristen Cox. Uh, Mrs. Cox has requested appointment to the Vandalia Culture Arts Committee. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve the application of Mrs. Cox to the Vandalia Cultural Arts Committee. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilwoman Farce, that we do approve Mrs. Cox um, being appointed to the Vandalia Cultural Arts Committee. Are there any comments? I'll be abstaining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone else? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Farst? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Uh, Mr. Blakesley is abstained. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setz? Yes, and the motion passes six with one abstention. We have no old business, so that brings us immediately to our resolutions. And the first resolution for this evening is 19-R-57. Mr. McDonald? Resolution authorizing a 10-year participation agreement with Montgomery County with respect to the Economic Development Government Equity Program. Uh, thank you. Uh, is there a motion? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. So the, so the Montgomery County Economic Development Government Equity, or EDGE program, again, is up for renewal in 2020. The EDGE program was established by the Montgomery County Commissioners in 1992 to attract jobs and retain the county's tax base, uh, to reduce interlocal competition for development, uh, to enable the county to successfully compete as a region in national and international markets, and to share the benefits of countywide economic prosperity among all jurisdictions in the county. Uh, since 1992, the city of Vandalia has been awarded over $5 million in EDGE funding to support economic development projects in the city. Uh, it's also helped create uh, over 1,500 jobs and retain over 2,700 jobs. Uh, so the EDGE program has been a very positive asset in the attraction and retention of businesses for the city of Vandalia. Thank you very much. Is there a motion? Your Honor, move that we approve resolution 19R57 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilman Ehlers, that we do approve resolution 19-R-57 as presented. Any comments? This has been a, a very good tool for our city, as, as he, he mentioned, and uh, so uh, I think going forward with this is going to still be very advantageous to future developments. Anybody else? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. <clears throat> Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Uh, ordinances is in their first reading, and that would be 19 24. Mr. McDonald? 
An ordinance to make appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the City of Vandalia, Ohio during the calendar year ending December 31, 2020 and declaring an emergency. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. So this ordinance does authorize appropriations for fiscal year 2020. A council conducted budget review workshops on November 9th and November 11th, again, to review the proposed budget. Thank you. Is there a motion? Make a motion that we approve ordinance 1924. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we do approve uh, ordinance 19-24 in its first reading. Are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7-0. Ordinance 19-25, Mr. McDonald. Uh, ordinance 1925, an ordinance decreasing the 2019 salary for the mayors and members of council and declaring an emergency. Thank you. Your Honor, I move that we table Ordinance 1925 until our next meeting. Second. It's been uh, moved by Vice Mayor Herb, second by Councilman Blakesley, yeah, no that we do um, was it? Table, 1925 table, till next table 1925 to our meeting next uh, Your Honor, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure that we wanted to table it to the next meeting. I thought that we wanted to have some further review, and so just table it was, my understanding was that it was going to be tabled indefinitely as opposed to Correct. being heard Correct. at the I next meeting. I misspoke on that table. Okay. Do so, so we would need Mr. I move that we table ordinance 1925 indefinitely. And we, second. You take that as a second. All right. Is that fair enough for everybody now? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, any comments or anything? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? <clears throat> yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Uh, ordinance 19-26, Mr. McDonald. An ordinance providing a cost of living allowance for certain employees of the city of Vandalia, <coughs> Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so this ordinance would provide up to a 2% cost of living increase, effective the first pay period of 2020, for all non-union, full-time, and permanent part-time employees within the respective pay ranges. Uh, the ordinance also increases the top pay rate for all uh, non-union full-time and permanent part-time pay classifications by 2%. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve ordinance 19-26. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ehlers, second by Councilman Blakesley, that we approve ordinance 19-26 in its first reading. Comments? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7 0. Ordinance 19 27, Mr. McDonald. An ordinance to amend Part 14, Building and Housing Code, Title II, Building Standards of the Codified Ordinances of the City of Vandalia by providing Chapter 1484, dealing with nuisance properties. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Again, so this ordinance would be a supplement to our existing property maintenance code. It is primarily designed for a severe violations where the property owner is unknown and or gone or unresponsive. It allows for a quicker process for abating the nuisance uh, than under our property maintenance code and will allow the city to abate severe nuisances without court intervention. It incorporates all of the typical due process requirements, so if challenged, it should hold up in court. Uh, the ordinance declares 19 different property conditions related to property condition related situations to be a potential public nuisance. Uh, the ordinance is designed for properties where we do not expect any owner to respond due to the property being abandoned. Uh, so under this ordinance, we expect to have to serve notice to the owner through publication in the newspaper. And after serving the owner, again, a hearing will be held whereby the code official asked the property maintenance board to agree that a nuisance is, as described in the ordinance exists, and that the abatement proposed by the code official is reasonable. 
Thank you very much. Is there a motion? I move that we approve Ordinance 19-27 in its first reading. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Farr, second by Vice Mayor Herbst, that we do approve uh, Ordinance 19-27 in its first reading. Any comments? I'd just like to thank you again for bringing all of this to our attention. It's been um, over a year, I believe. But uh, something like this is a very delicate subject. And I think that what uh, Mr. McDonald has been able to do really solves some of the issues that were brought to our attention. So, anybody else? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Farce? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbst? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Uh, Your Honor, if, if, if I may, sure. when I read uh, 1926, it didn't sound right to me, and I looked at the actual ordinance, and the title is not correct on it. It was missing something. So I just wanted to point out that 1926, the actual ordinance title is an ordinance approving the citywide 2020 pay scale and providing a cost of living allowance for certain employees. We, we had left out the citywide pay scale in the title that got printed on the agenda that I read. So that was, uh, I just wanted to point that out. Okay. It's only in its first reading, so it'll be fine, but the title will be slightly different at the next reading, and that's the reason. Thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. We don't need to do anything else, though. No, we don't. I just okay. wanted to bring it to your attention while, before I forgot. Okay, great. Um, you know, I'm just going to back out here just a little bit. Sometimes, because we d go over all, all of these in our study session, and we have conversations about everything and so forth, you know, we just don't even pay too close attention to the actual title then when it comes up here. We just go. <laughs> but we know, yeah. And thank you, though, for bringing it to our attention. And also, sometimes the things change as a result of those discussions, exactly. which is what happened, I think, with this one. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, Ordinance 19-28, Mr. McDonald. An ordinance to amend Part 6, General Code of the Codified Ordinances of the City of Vandalia by amending Chapter 642 by adding a new section, 642.20, dealing with criminal activity as a nuisance. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so this ordinance allows the city to declare property a nuisance based on criminal activity occurring at a given location over a certain period of time. Uh, this ordinance does two things, and it provides a thorough process to declare property a nuisance so that if we end up going to court, uh, we can make a strong showing of the nuisance and that we took into account constitutional safeguards, even if the other side does not show up. Uh, secondly, again, even if the city does not take the owner to court uh, to close the nuisance operation, again, if a property is declared a chronic nuisance under this ordinance, any subsequent calls can result in the cost of addressing the nuisance being charged to the owner along with uh, any civil fines. Again, all those uh, could be assessable against the property. Thank you. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I move that we approve Ordinance 19-28 in its first reading. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Herb, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we do approve uh, Ordinance 19-28 in its first reading. Once again, are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Farce? Yes. Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbs? Yes. Mayor Stetzer? Yes, and the motion passes uh, nine, uh, seven to zero. We have no ordinances in their second reading, and that brings us to our emergency ordinance, and that is uh, emergency ordinance 19-23, Mr. McDonald. An ordinance approving individual assessment amounts and directing the finance director or her designee to certify the amounts to the county auditor for collection and declaring an emergency. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so this ordinance assesses properties for delinquent accounts related to stormwater fees, trash collection, property cleanup, and weed cutting. Okay. Since this is uh, an emergency ordinance, I will open up a public hearing. So if there's anyone in the audience who would like to make comment, would you please come to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and then your comment. Seeing none, I will close the public hearing. 
and ask for a motion. Your Honor, I move that we approve uh, Ordinance 19-23 as an emergency. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Lewis, second by Councilwoman Farce, that we approve Ordinance 19-23 as an emergency. Are there any comments? I have one question. Sure. Uh, here again on some paperwork, it shows Ordinance 1922, and on our iPad, it's 1923. I just want to make sure, since we, you brought that up earlier. It should be 23. It is 23? Okay. I just want to make sure. So it's. it's, it's uh, Okay. Ordinance 19-23, which is the emergency. Yes. Is everybody clear on that? Okay, great. Uh, any further comments or questions? Would you please call the roll? Councilmember Lewis? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Vice Mayor Herbs? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7-0. Uh, Council, you've had an opportunity also to look over the uh, Board of Zoning Appeal minutes of October the 9th and the Planning Commission minute minutes of September the 24th. Are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, they'll stand approved. And that brings us to Council comments. And I'm going to go first tonight. Um, on our agenda, we had executive session none. And so what I am uh, requesting is an executive session be placed on our next council agenda for the purpose to discuss and to consider the compensation of the city manager. I'm also requesting that um, Richard Oaks be added to our study session for uh, an update that he has that would like to present to us and it would be approximately 10 minutes. With that, now we'll get back on schedule. I guess I, I guess should go in reverse. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, Vice Mayor Herbs. Uh, nothing tonight, Your Honor. Okay. Councilman Ehlers. Nothing, thank you. Councilman Lewis. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. Councilwoman Farce. Just a thank you to staff. We had um, two different days of workshop. We went through a lot of material had a lot of information, had a lot of good communication with between council and staff, and I really appreciate all that time that that took to put together. So thank you. Councilman Blakesley. I will echo the same. I believe that that is where we earn our pay, so to speak, uh, that you know, since we're fiduciarily responsible for the city, that uh, between staff making that presentation and having us review that, I feel a, have a good sense that, that we are in a good position and uh, on course. So again, thank you also to staff. Great job. Thank you. Um, Councilman Gerhardt. Um, I'd like to offer congratulations to Richard Herbst, our next mayor after the election. Corey Follick, Connie Woods, and returning to council, Bob Ehlers. I know the city's in good hands moving forward. That's it. That's it? Um, Mr. Cruzy. Uh, nothing this evening, Your Honor. Mr. McDonald. I actually have one thing. <laughs> um, on, on the nuisance, you thanked me for the ordinances, but uh, I had a lot and a lot and a lot of help from uh, Ted and Rob, uh, Rob Crone and Ted Baker on the yeah. one nuisance, and from Dave Caldwell and, and uh, Chief uh, Kurt Althaus. They both helped rev by reviewing the criminal one and giving me some comments, so I just wanted to make sure that uh, spread out the um, accolades, if you will. But that's Great. all I have. Great. Thank you so very much. Well, if there's nothing else, our meeting is adjourned. <laughs>